Rusty Bromley, Chief Operating Officer of the Milan Repair Foundation. Uh, for this week's President's Letter, Scott asked me if I would do a quick video to talk about stem cells, since it's a topic that's been hot in the news lately, thanks to President Obama lifting some of the federal restrictions on research on embryonic stem cells. And many people have been contacting us, wanting to know how do stem cells factor into the research of the Myelin Repair Foundation. We've considered from the beginning how stem cells might play a role in effective new therapies based on myelin repair. However, I have to say that we don't currently use or do we plan to use embryonic stem cells because we've been able to find other sources of stem cells that actually are more uh, straightforward in terms of converting them into the types of cells that we need to affect myelin repair. Let me talk just briefly about three different sources of stem cells that we've been actively researching. First, there's a subclass of stem cells that are available from the bone marrow, which are called mesenchymal stem cells. These cells are routinely collected when bone marrow transplants are done in patients with leukemia and other diseases like graft versus host, and so a great deal is already known about these materials and they're readily available for our research. Secondly, adult neural stem cells can be derived either from uh, autopsy patients or from other animal models that enable us to start with a stem cell line that's closer to the fate of the cells that we're trying to develop, that is the oligodendrocytes that produce myelin. And third, one of the most exciting new developments is something called induced pluripotent stem cells. In this area, a skin sample is taken and manipulated to reverse the development of these cells from a fully differentiated tissue, that is the skin, back to the stem cells that can be then used to develop all types of different stem cell lines for research. One of the big advantages of induced pluripotent stem cells is that they can be taken easily from any patient. At the MRF, we believe that these three sources of stem cells provide us not only with sufficient materials to conduct our research with human tissues, but a robust source that will keep us busy for the foreseeable future and provide us with great insight in developing new myelin repair treatment targets. Thank you for your interest.